Hello guys, this is Pawan from Ambedotronics. So today in this video tutorial, I will show you how we can integrate uh, MSYS to, uh, uh, to uh, basically uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, so MSYS to Bash, uh, basically I want to uh, integrate in my VS Code, just like Git when, whenever we install that Git Bash automatically integrate in our, in our uh, VS Code terminal. Uh, let me show you what I want to say, say you, and uh, uh, as we already uh, installed MSYS2 in our system, if you haven't watched that video, then I'll just put that video in my dis video description. I have shown how we can install MSYS2 on that and uh, how can we get MinGW compiler and uh, we can uh, code in C and other uh, even other programming language uh, with, with MinGW. So uh, basically uh, that thing I have already uh, done with that. You can also uh, go to this I button here and you'll get that uh, video. So first watch that video and after that if uh, you want the MSYS2 bash integrated in your VS Code terminal itself and uh, whenever you will open your Visual Studio Code and uh, that uh, that bash MSYS2 bash will automatically open. So that for that what you need to do you have to do one thing first uh, let me just go to the terminal here. So here if you just go to the terminal so here we will see there are a couple of uh, terminals here uh, if you will just look on that uh, we have powershell we have git bash uh, because uh, we have in, in my last video i have installed git and also git bash is there we have command prompt so let's say like uh, if i'll just open powershell powershell is uh, already open so uh, we will just open this is powershell so here in powershell another one more power cell is open so i'll just uh, delete this first one and here if we'll uh, uh, write anything so it will be something related to uh, command line so here or this type of ls and uh, this type of commands will work just like in linux in uh, uh, powershell and if we'll go to the com command prompt uh, uh, so here this is basically windows command prompt here ls will not work so here uh, instead of ls uh, dir will work which is again the windows command prompt uh, uh, command so if i'll just hit enter so here you can see uh, in dir we will get these uh, directories uh, which are there in the present current folder so this is powershell and command prompt and same way we have git bash and in get git bash again uh, this is uh, linux terminal here also we can uh, give ls command and uh, we can get uh, our uh, the, the folder include lib uh, whatever uh, like uh, are the the folder as folders are uh, visual those are uh, we can see if you want to see uh, the those folder which are hidden so ls hyphen a we can give so these folders we can see now uh, i want msys2 uh, uh, bash also here so how we can uh, we can achieve that things for that what we need to do uh, we want we will just go to the settings part and here in this uh, uh, setting icon we will just click on this settings and here we need to search terminal dot integrated dot profiles dot windows okay so here we go now now uh, here in this case now we will just click on this edit in settings dot json so uh, uh, now uh, same similar way you, you will have this setting to settings dot json will be open and now these th these things uh, will be there so here you can see uh, in this particular uh, file uh, we have powershell source powershell icon and the, so this is for powershell automatically um, uh, um, automatically created here or automatically written here for the for that in in this setting settings dot json only for that on because of that only we can able to run any command in this power cell and again this command prompt uh, this thing is there and uh, i can and uh, other things also we have given arg arguments for this and then git bash is there and source is git bash so similar way we will add now uh, msys uh, 2 so here what will you do we will have to add uh, msys 2 and we will give give the right name here so i have already written this thing here uh, what will you do you will just give this thing so you just uh, copy this thing here and uh, uh, go here and if you uh, just paste it here so here you will see that uh, the, the last one will be now bash msys2 
and uh, here in the curly braces we have path c mc64 user bin bash.exe so uh, in your case you just check your path uh, this path should be correct then only this thing will be executed and in arg uh, in args we have to uh, log in uh, ensure your bash runs as login as a login shell so uh, this thing will be included mm. now the icon again the terminal bash this thing same way for the just like for um, uh, powershell terminal powershell powershell and for command prompt prom term, terminal cmd so for bash msys2 is icon terminal bash now uh, here if i'll just save it let's see i have now i have saved it now i'll just uh, check it here so here you can see now this, this thing is added now bash msys2 so here if i'll just click on it so uh, so now you can see here uh, we got the msys2 terminal here in the integrated uh, visual studio code uh, uh, itself now if i'll just uh, go run any command like pwd present working directory or ls so i'll get the result so ls if i'll give so uh, i'm not getting anything because uh, actually by default it is just pointing me to the uh, windows home directory uh, if you want to uh, see that uh, in which directory we are so we have to give present working directory so uh, if i'll hit the enter now here, here you can see uh, we we are going to the home and pawn and uh, in this location path i i don't have any any file that's why in ls command we are not getting these files basically because it's not pointing to the uh, project explorer itself so uh, to to uh, to point to the project explorer uh, itself uh, we can we can do one more thing we have to set uh, environment variables of this uh, and uh, that environment variables we have to set here in the settings dot json itself so uh, that that environment variable is uh, share dot uh, initiative so if you'll go here then uh, this uh, share sorry sorry share dot that invoking is there so this thing uh, you need to copy and uh, uh, here uh, you need to just uh, uh, do one thing and here you will paste it so uh sorry uh this thing no uh, okay because this is part of this only so this way this will work we can uh, shift it here so that it will not give any confusion so env uh this uh, now uh curly braces here and share mocking is equals to one uh a column one so uh, like keeps terminal in the current directory so uh, we will have we'll just uh, save it and uh then we will see uh, whether we are getting any error or not and uh, uh, okay we are getting one error okay let me just check that thing okay uh, so uh, the, the error basically is the curly braces error only uh, here you can see this curly braces is pointing to the closing braces uh, to this one so what we have to do we will just uh, put another brace here and uh, this will close the thing uh, uh, this bash uh, msys2 now you, here you can see now uh, there is no error and all uh, that red uh, red setting dot icon is removed now now i will just save it and uh, as soon as we will save it now we can just uh, delete uh, this bash uh, thing and uh, whenever we will just open uh, terminal and um, let's say i have open terminal and uh, uh, it will open by default in powershell and if i'll just go to my bash msys2 now here you can see uh, uh, it will uh, be uh, on should be my uh, present working directory let me just check first ls uh, no it's not coming so i think we have to close the visual studio code to uh, make changes uh, effect on this so what will we do we will just uh, close this uh, visual studio code okay so we will uh, restart our visual studio code uh, so here we go now we will uh, see uh, that uh, path will automatically we will get we will just uh, here go to the terminal and new terminal and uh, here uh, uh, as we have uh, set this environment variables share invoking uh, column one so now it should point to the, the the same working directory which we have currently so uh, 
uh, let it, let let the process happen and now what will we do we'll just uh, go to this uh, drop down menu here and here we have a lot of uh, bash now like powershell get bash and the command prompt and bash ms 2 which just now currently we had configured here for uh, visual studio code now we'll just uh, click on it and as we just clicked here yeah you can see now the path msys c uses spawn one drive documents uh, platform io uh, projects uh, and this this is the uh, path of our uh, this uh, particular folder uh, explorer so this is workspace now if i'll just uh, go to the present working directory so this way it will show me like uh, in in my onedrive and documents and then uh, documents uh, we have a platform io and then uh, projects and ethernet uh, this project name so this way we can go to the uh, we can uh, force our uh, msys2 to, to locate to the uh, present working directory instead of the home directory because uh, anyway whenever we are uh, working in visual studio code or any other id and uh, we are working on msys2 so we we don't want to uh, again uh, go with the cd command uh, to that project folder so directly we need to uh, go to the workspace folder so that is uh, in that way we it will be very helpful so now uh, one more thing we can do in this case uh, what we can do uh, we can go to again the, that that setting dot, dot json and in settings dot json if if we want any uh, particular uh, like uh, bash or any particular uh, uh, git bash or any uh, command prompt uh, to be a default uh, command uh, line uh, format for us so for that we can do one thing like we can uh, give here uh, one comma here and here we can give one more command and that uh, that command is this one a terminal dot uh, uh, v terminal dot at integrated dot default uh, profile dot windows uh, colon bash uh, msys2 so if i'll just save it and if i'll just uh, go to here now now here you can see uh, bash msys2 uh, default uh, uh, in bracket uh, it automatically came so this way you can see uh, now we can make any uh, uh, command command line here uh, default if like i want to change uh, instead of uh, 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 bash msys2 if let's say i want uh, this git bash so let me just take this thing and here if i'll just uh, take this thing and here i'll just go and paste it and save it and now if i'll just go to the drop down here you can see now the git bash default is uh, came so uh, any time whenever you will open your visual studio code then it will automatically open with your git bash or whatever uh, um, uh, last time you have whatever default mode you have saved in your settings of dot json you have made so if i'll just uh, go to again here visual studio code and if i'll just open it it will automatically open our terminal uh, of of the default terminal okay now uh, what we have to do we have to because last time uh, we have uh, made made msys2 open had this thing so we'll just uh, delete this terminal let's say now if i'll just open from here and we will just click on this new terminal it will open uh, the git bash uh, for us uh, so this is uh, git bash uh, which is open now so uh, this way yeah i think uh, I, now you understood how we can uh, open uh, uh, default uh, terminal or any other terminal in our case also and make it a default terminal so uh, this is the very useful uh, commands and all here we can do in uh, settings uh, dot json so i hope you like this tutorial if you have any doubt regarding this this just feel free to comment us below uh, thanks for watching this video.